Welcome everybody and today we're taking a look at another Radiance Films release and it is 1990's Miami Blues. So this is a uh, film directed by George Armitage who also did Gross Point Blank which is another 90s uh, film in the same kind of vein as this in, in some ways. And uh, yeah it's it clocks in at 97 minutes long it's a neo-noir black comedy crime drama. So a whole mishmash of genres there. And uh, yeah, it uh, stars Alec Baldwin, who's in The Lights of the Shadow, Married to the Mob, and the same year film The Hunt for Red October. Also stars Jennifer Jason Lee, who was in The Lights of the Hateful Eight, The Hitcher, Backdraft, and Rogue Petition. And uh, also Fred Ward, who was in the same year film Tremors, as well as Southern Comfort and Remo Williams' The Adventure Begins. And uh, yeah, when Fred gets out of prison, played by Alec Baldwin, he decides to start over in Miami, where he starts a violent one-man crime wave. He soon meets up with amiable college student Susie, played by Jennifer Jason Lee. Opposing Fred is Sergeant Hoke Mosley, played by Fred Ward, a cop who is getting a bit old for the job. So, uh, yeah, with a great cast, a somewhat unpredictable plot, and an off-kilter mix of humour and its numerous genres, this is an overall engrossing effort. It is also well-paced, has a solid score, the Miami setting is well used, certainly comes across as a really rather heat laden kind of, um, you know, seedy kind of underbelly of a city. It has its funny moments and the few spurts of violence are handled nicely, especially in the uh, final act. So, uh, yeah, overall a really, really solid film. I did get along with the first half a lot better than the second half, as I wasn't quite sure where it was going to be going. But on the whole, it is a really, really good effort. So, uh, yeah, and... Uh, Radiance Films have done a spectacular job with the whole uh, transfer and the like. And that, yeah, it's another high definition uh, digital transfer, just like the man on the roof was. But again, it looks far better than that would have, uh, ever give you uh, the impression. So uh, just off the uh, saying it is a high digital transfer, you know. And uh, yeah, it gets a nice booklet as well. nicely done and uh, yeah as per usual get cast and crew then you get of death and dentures charles wilford fred ward miami blues 2022 by glenn kenny interview with george armitage from 2015 by nick pinkerton then you get the method of behind the madness of alec baldwin from 2022 by layla latif then you get miami blues fred ward plays it by the book from 1990 by robert seidenberg then you get a critical overview from 2022 and transfer notes and credits. So, uh, yeah, that's Fred Ward. He's uh, one, one like, kind of quirk as a character is that he's got dentures in. And, uh, yeah, he's a little bit funny with his uh, dentures and the like. There's Alec Baldwin. Looking positively um, baby-faced in a lot of ways. Where's Jennifer Jason Lee just to show you off in here? Well, there she is, partly, I guess, with uh, Alec Baldwin. So, yeah, in terms of the transfer itself, I'm not sure if there's any uh, more detail. So, it's transferred in high definition by MGM at Ascent Media and delivered to Radiance as a high definition digital file. Additional picture restoration to remove instances of dirt was carried out by Silver Salt Restoration London. The film is presented in its original aspect ratio with its original stereo audio mix. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this wasn't a big hit at the time, despite being a studio release. You know, you got MGM and Orion Pictures behind this. And, uh, yeah, despite The Hunt for Red October being a big film from the same year, and they even delayed this film um, to um, capitalise on that film's massive success, it unfortunately wasn't a successful film in the same kind of way that Tremors wasn't either, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, you also get the original poster on the uh, reverse cover of the sleeve. But yeah, overall, a really, really good release. I can't say I enjoyed it as much as, say, The Man on, on, the Man on the Roof or The Working Class Go to Heaven, another couple of Radiance Films releases. But still, it is overall a really, really good film. And uh, yeah, highly recommended, especially if you're into the likes of the cast or George Armitage's um, filmography. I love Gross Point Blank, so that's the main reason I chose this. And even though I don't like this film as much as that, still another worthwhile effort. So, uh, yeah, well, thank you for watching. If you've seen this film before, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. But nonetheless, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.